video is disturbing. But it doesn't contradict the police report sent to the ADA. Who was this ADA? Uh, Danielle DiCarlo. Green, but good. Taking her first vacation in three years to say that she is dedicated is an understatement. Well, to say that she threw the book at him is an overstatement. The precinct cops said it was a drunken spat. DiCarlo dropped the charges against Paula, offered AJ adjournments in contemplation of dismissal. He does community service, doesn't reoffend. In six months, it all gets dropped. So that's the deal that I give when the victim refuses to cooperate. Or are you saying because they're celebrities, we should have given them anti preferential treatment? I'm saying treatment? that your ADA shouldn't have taken the arresting officer's word. I take your word all the time. Anyway, this is moot. The deal was offered, the lawyer said no. They turned down a get out of jail free card? Why? It's a smart move. AJ called the ADA's bluff. He just assumed that he'd get away with it regardless. What, he's probably worried about PR, trying to avoid community service, so great. He gets away with everything. Everything? Look, there's not a lot here. Any footage from the stairwell? Tomorrow, and Rollins are tracking it down. And when they find it, we know what we're gonna see. The same thing we've seen before from these guys. He knocked her out. Why not just convict him now? He dragged her unconscious body out of that stairwell with no concern for her. And then she says she slipped and fell. Come on. In certain ways, I don't disagree. I hate it when people say that. Since he didn't take the offer, the case is still open. Find the video. We'll get her to change her story. We'll see where we are.